The Acrostic of Jesus, A Rhyming Christology for Kids, written by Jonathan Gibson and Timothy Brindle. Prologue. Let's read the acrostic of Jesus together to help you to love him so he is your treasure. We'll read it, rap it, or sing it, it's fun, till Jesus comes back and his kingdom has come. An acrostic poem uses the alphabet to teach you about Christ so you will not forget. God does this in scripture, like Psalm 119. In Lamentations, he has a fun rhyme scheme. So from now on, we'll use the first letter to help you remember and to learn better. He's the Alpha and Omega from A to Z. We pray you see from this book, Jesus came from me. Each page will have a name, attribute, or a title of Jesus Christ that is rooted in the Bible. He says, in all your ways, acknowledge me. Kids, you're not too young to learn Christology. What is Christology? It's the study of Jesus, of his person and work, and how he does what he pleases. Not just to know about him more in our brains, but to know him as the Lord of glory who reigns. So, let's read the acrostic of Jesus together to help you to love him so he is your treasure. We'll read it, rap it, or sing it, it's fun, till Jesus comes back and his kingdom has come. Abel Able to rescue, Jesus has the power to save. He can redeem sinners who are bound as a slave. Jesus helps children who don't know how to behave. He can even raise the dead who are down in the grave. Bread of life. Bread of life from heaven. That's what Jesus gives. He gives us himself. We live because Jesus lives. Yes, he is bread for our souls, not just for our tummies. Without Jesus, we're dead like Egyptian mummies. Christ Christ means Messiah. Jesus is God's anointed one. The Spirit was poured upon him as God's appointed son. By Christ our King, we're saved from our sins. Jesus sits on David's throne. He reigns and he wins. Door. Door of the sheepfold. Jesus is the way in. For all the wandering sheep who are straying. As the door to the kingdom, he's the only entrance. Anyone can go in through faith and repentance. Everlasting. Everlasting means Jesus has no beginning or end. He was always with the Father before the plan to descend. God's Son needed nothing before he came to earth. He was happy in heaven before his famous birth. Faithful. Faithful because Jesus keeps every promise. He can't lie. We don't have to doubt like Thomas. His resurrection proves every promise is true, especially the one to be the God of me and you. God. God, fully divine. That is who Jesus is. He knows all things, and he always sees us kids. But he's also fully human, since born of a virgin. So Jesus is the God-man, two natures in one person. Humble. Humble means selfless, so Jesus didn't serve himself. He laid aside his glory and his eternal wealth. Although he is God, holy, 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 to make us his own, he made himself lowly. Although he is holy and hates all our sin, Jesus lowered himself to make us his kin. He humbled himself even to death on a tree. Jesus died for sinners who are wretched like me. Emmanuel. Emmanuel in Hebrew means God with us. 
He'll be with us forever. We haven't got to fuss. If you abide in him, then he'll abide in you. He'll give his Holy Spirit to dwell inside you too. Jesus. Jesus means that he will save us from our nasty sin. Over its guilt and its power, he has to win. So when you hear Jesus, thank God's salvation. Dying and rising, he makes us a new creation. King. King Jesus, he is the ruler of God's kingdom. When God made Adam, he made him king with dominion. But since Adam sinned, death and Satan reigned instead, until God sent Jesus to crush the serpent's head. Light. Light of the world, because Jesus shines in the darkness. To overcome our sin, he broke through our hardness. He gives us new eyes, no longer blinded by evil. Now the light of the world still shines through his people. Mediator. Mediator. He stands between us and our maker. Because against God, you and me have been a traitor. So Jesus ransomed us when he paid for our sin. God isn't mad at us. Now he welcomes us in. No other name. No other name under heaven has been provided to bring God and sinners together undivided. Jesus' blood paid for what we couldn't afford, so God gave him the greatest name, which is Lord. Obedient. Obedient to the law, Jesus never sinned at all. But you and I, every single day we slip and fall. Like when we're selfish and won't share our donut. Jesus lived perfectly as a kid and a grown-up. Every day of his life, he obeyed his father and mother. But for rebel kids, he gave his life as our brother. When we believe in him, God sees us with his perfection. We're saved as much by his life as by his death and resurrection. Prophet and Priest Prophet and Priest, Christ fulfills both offices. He gives you God's word, that's what a prophet is. As priest, he became the lamb led to the slaughter, and now he intercedes for you, his son or his daughter. Quick Quick to forgive, Jesus is very swift to bless. So every time we sin, we can quickly confess. Now let's be ready to repent and seek his forgiveness. He'll remove our sins and one day diseases and sickness. Resurrection. Resurrection, because Jesus gives life to the dead. Before he was risen, he gave his life in our stead. See, all of us will die, returning back to the dust. But he'll raise us like Lazarus we just have to trust. Without sin, he is righteous, born of a virgin. By his resurrection, our salvation is certain. Now he is risen, ruling and reigning. Soon he'll be returning to begin the final raising. Shepherd Shepherd of the flock, he is the shepherd who's good. Jesus died for his sheep when he bled on the wood. From the nails of the cross, he has holes in his hands. With those same hands, the Savior's holding his lambs. Tender. Tender and compassionate, Jesus feels all our pain. Seen in cleansing the leper and healing the lame. He mourns with us when we cry and weep from our loss. The man of sorrows carried our griefs to the cross. Unchangeable. Unchangeable. Change is impossible for God to do. He is incapable of shifting in his love for you. Will God's faithfulness to you ever change? No, no, never. 
Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Vine. Vine. The true vine. That's a picture of Jesus. So we are the branches. That's how he sees us. If we turn away from him, then we'll fall and die. But if we stay connected, our fruit will multiply. Water. Water for our souls, which we need to stay a living. Christ gives the water that flowed from his side a riven. If we drink his living water, our hearts will never thirst. So don't go after idols. Children, put Jesus first. Exalted. Exalted above. Jesus is super duper high. When he rose from the dead, he went up through the sky. Jesus entered into heaven, then he took his seat at the Father's right hand with all things under his feet. Yahweh. Yahweh, this is God's covenant name in Hebrew. Moses said to Israel, I am sent me to you. So when Jesus came to earth and said, I am, he was saying, God's the Passover lamb. Zealous. Zealous, as Psalm 69 and John 2 tells us, that for God's glory, Jesus is always jealous. He hates it when we don't give God all the praise. By his Holy Spirit, he sets our souls ablaze. Closing Refrain Now we've read the acrostic of Jesus together. Let's pray, Father, please make Jesus our treasure. We thank you for who he is and what he has done. Father in heaven, help us trust in your Son. To purchase the Acrostic of Jesus music album, visit www.timothybrindleministries.com.